Boom, we got two tubs. Just started scraping this one, just with the blade to get off all the dry, loose dirt. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue scraping a little bit, then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scotch bright it with water before we acid wash. Let's go check out Braden in the other bathroom. It's scrubbing a lot off. Yeah, same on the other one. It's like all the plaster is in there. So we're just cleaning this up right here, just water. We did a dry clean with the scrape, paper towel, scraper, the single edge blade and the paper towel. Now we're taking water with the Scotch-Brite pad, just taking off all the dust. We're gonna run the scraper over it again, the single edge blade, and then I'm gonna get ready to do an acid wash, which will help clean it even more, as well as rough it up. So that way I can get ready to dry it off and then start patching these little chips. Let's go see what Braden's doing. Boom, looking good. Much better. We're working on these tubs simultaneously. That way it's just the most efficient way to do it. So we're gonna be jumping back and forth. You'll probably see more of mine because I have the camera with me and we forgot the GoPro, but we're gonna knock these two out, vacant unit, we'll get these done.
acid sitting on here. I'm gonna let it sit for about 12 minutes or so. I diluted it a little bit more than normal. Just gonna let it sit, press steel. We just need to get a little bit of a grab for the primer. That lady's finishing up over here. Looking good, much, much better, you guys. I like to acid wash it before I go ahead and put the Bondo on these chips so it has something to stick and grab to. So once I put on the Bondo, I'm gonna let it, as it's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start taping and masking this off. so I can, I can uh, be uh, pretty, I could sand it down pretty hard. I like to sand it down pretty much back down to the original. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and start taping and masking this off. You guys keep in mind in the description down below, in the description box, I've got a list of all of the materials that I use, including the Bondo that I use, which comes with the cream hardener. So make sure to check it out in the description. Any items you're interested in getting, just go ahead and click on those links. Acid on, looking good. Remember what it was before? This looks like a night and day. A lot of it is from contractors, painters, drywallers, using the tub as an area to rinse things off without covering it. All right, you guys, so I've got it taped off, blue tape, just so that way I'm doing something while it's drying. For example, I wouldn't want to do the blue tape and then Bondo because then I'm just gonna have to sit and wait. So at least while it's drying, I could put the blue tape up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and sand. Once I'm done sanding, I'll wipe it all down. Then I'm gonna put the masking paper around. Then I'll come back with either lacquer thinner, rubbing alcohol um, to wipe everything down, clean it up, and then tack cloth it. I'm gonna take 120 grit on my orbital and I'm just gonna go ahead and basically run it lightly over. I don't put a lot of pressure, but I will run it over and just get everything ready. All right, you guys got it all masked off, sanded down, chips are filled. Now I'm gonna get ready to mask it and then I'll tape the drain and get ready to go and start spraying. All right, so one thing to note is that we have started using, we like to use the 18 inch masking paper because sometimes we'll go 12 inch and 12 inch, two rows, but we realize with the 18, we'll save time. The overspray doesn't really go above the 12, uh, so 18 is good enough, but we'll use 18 and only have to go around once instead of having to go around twice with 12. So it does save a little bit of time. It does cost about a dollar more a roll, but for us, it's, it's totally worth it. I'll put the 18 inch masking paper in the description as well.
Alright, so we got this stuff here. We're going to spray the primer. We got primer in here. So you guys might, wanna, might be wondering why we're not covered up as much. It's a total basic unit. Look at this. So, a lot of the stuff that we're placing. bacon unit we got here at 12 it's 3 30 now so three and a half hours for two tubs that's not bad at all so make sure to comment down below let us know if you have any let me know if you have any questions on the process the pricing uh, materials used anything like that go ahead and leave a message in the comments and i'll definitely get back to you but you guys thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next time